I'm your host, Jamie Scotto Kataya, founder and CEO of JSA. Today, we are exploring the topic that's on the minds of many here, the buzzword of the year, some would say, AI. Joining us is Sunil Diaz. He's the CEO of Aleppo, a leader reimagining the future of customer support in the telecommunications industry. Sunil, welcome. Jamie, thank you for having me. Our pleasure, our pleasure. And I should say, this is not just a buzzword. Buzzword could be very misleading here. AI, life-changing innovation that technology leaders are, are truly embracing, which really is a nice line up here to Aleppo. Can you tell us what you guys are doing there at Aleppo? Sure. Um, so artificial intelligence, uh, generative AI and machine learning um, is going to have a profound impact on many aspects of our lives and on every industry vertical. Uh, what I'm stating is not news. It's all over the press. Every technology company today is talking about AI in one form or the other in their earnings call and press releases. Uh, this is probably my fourth or fifth massive business transformation in the telecommunications industry vertical that I have experience in over the last 25 years. Um, now, AI brings the promise of um, uh, further transformation uh, of this very entrenched and mature industry, uh, largely underpinned by technologies such as 5G, uh, cloud network computing, IoT, and multi-edge computing. Aleppo has a 20-year um, history in delivering software solutions uh, to leading communication service providers around the world. I took over the role of um, CEO of Aleppo last October. Um, I came from a much bigger company and was excited to join this very entrepreneurial culture with really a 20-year-old uh, startup mindset doing some exciting work in the area of generative AI, 5G, edge computing, and cloud-native solutions. Uh, well, I know uh, the company is, uh, I, I know some of your uh, other business leaders in the company, an incredible, like you said, 20-year-old mindset of a startup. Like, you just love that. Very innovative, great people there. Uh, and you have a great story to tell, such as the first, uh, the latest news that you guys just released with your partner, Loom Mobile, uh, SaskTel's innovative all-digital mobile brand. So can you tell us how Aleppo is leveraging Gen AI to insert really more realistic interactions for its customers? What's that story there? Yes, so before I get into AI, let me provide some background and uh, context. So Loom Mobile is an MVNO, and for those not familiar with the acronym, um, a mobile virtual network operator is a telecommunication service provider typically a mobile service provider that does not own spectrum uh, or license or a network, but sells mobile services under, under its brand name using the, the network of a licensed mobile operator. Now, there are many examples of this around the world. So big brands that are selling mobile services such as uh, Virgin Mobile, a brand that's associated with an airline that's leveraging its uh, massive customer base and brand and, and it uh, partners, it typically partners with mobile network operators or MNOs. Yes, I know the industry is full of acronyms. So MNOs is a mobile network operator. In, in many countries to market and sell voice um, data uh, and mobile broadband services. Uh, and MVNO can also be launched by a mobile network operator itself, such as an AT&T or Orange, that might want to create a new uh, sub-brand or an alternative brand to target uh, some segment, um, some specific segment with a competitive offering. So Loom Mobile is um, such an MVNO that is launched, that was launched by Sastel, a mobile network operator, and the target, their target being customers in the province of uh, Saskatchewan in Canada. Uh, and they're seeking an alternative to their own traditional post-paid mobile services. Uh, the, the fascinating thing about Loom is, is the brand it's, and what it speaks for. The brand is all about um, a love for connecting people through communications that want to make an impactful difference to the environment. 
So one of Loom's initiatives is Bloom with Loom. So customer uh, welcome and SIM packages that are mailed out to subscribers and customers uh, contain seeds of wildflowers for pollinators and an explanation of the benefits of planting those seeds. Now, I could spend all day talking about Loom and what they do, but I would encourage um, our audience to go directly to Loom's website that's spelled L-U-M dot C-A to see what they're all about. Now, one of my first customer visits after I took over as CEO at Aleppo was to um, Loom Mobile to the team in, uh, at Sastel in Regina, a relatively small city in the Prairie province of um, Saskatchewan in uh, Western Canada. I met with this amazing and ambitious team at Sastel that not only created the sustainably, sustainability based concept, but also launched Loom Mobile. And what is probably one of the world's few, um, uh, if not uh, first 100% digital um, uh, brand MVNO. And certainly it's the only one in Canada. So it is a low cost carrier that uses a membership model to acquire new customers. Their business model is quite unique. Uh, their subscribers um, uh, uh, subscribe to a service and pay their bills by purchasing a membership and then turn to online forums to get their questions answered. The service is obviously uh, target to, targeted to specific demographics, those wanting to manage their own phone services and those that are uh, you know, um, in love with the environment. So being a 100% uh, digital brand, Loom operates exclusively through digital platforms such as mobile apps, websites, social media, and other online channels without any physical retail or offline services. Um, there's no calling someone on the phone, being on hold, trying to find a retail location to go and get your mobile or, or cell phone service. It's all done online through an app, simple, quick, and 100% uh, digital self-serve. So I, I wanted to give you this background and context to tell you that Aleppo is um, proud and thankful to have been given this opportunity to partner with SaaStel to launch this 100% digital brand um, by deploying Aleppo's MVNO in a box, zero touch digital network technology platform. And that was in, uh, uh, at the end of 2021, December 2021. So this brings me to the subject of generative AI. So most recently, um, uh, we partnered with Loom to launch LoomBot, okay, which is a generative AI powered customer care bot that's based on Aleppo's telco bot.ai. Uh, unlike traditional chatbots that are constrained by preset rules, um, the Aleppo a chatbot or uh, AI chatbot or virtual agent, as we like to call it, is able to comprehend and engage in human-like customer service sessions through the use of uh, LLMs or large language models. So Loombot understands uh, nuanced subscriber interaction, uh, uh, delivering uh, the ability to automate uh, tasks without needing to escalate those tasks um, to a human agent, which is pretty typical uh, with most chatbots. Uh, if you have experienced them, where you begin to engage with the chatbot, get frustrated, probably interact with an uh, equally frustrating IVR, and finally end up with a human agent after uh, right. being on hold for an extended time or waiting for someone to call you back. So, so Loombot, uh, one of the other things is that uh, the, the bot itself, because it's enabled by AI, it in intelligently adapts to personas in real time. For example, you know, it knows if you're interacting with someone that's looking to buy a new service with a prospect versus someone that's looking to buy, uh, someone that's an existing subscriber who might have a question. And so it will respond uh, based on the persona. And also being an AI enabled bot, uh, Loombot is uh, adapting, continuously learning and improving responses and making it more proficient in understanding human-like language. I, I love this. This is a story of like the ultimate ideal partnership. You know, uh, first off, how wonderful that you d gave a shout out to loom.ca, L-U-M.ca, their website. Um, 
And then to create this Loom bot to help them with their digital customer engagement uh, based on your telco bot.ai virtual agent, uh, which is uh, uh, one of the most amazing um, uh, inventions of Aleppo uh, from, from my, my perspective. Um, so you're really revolutionizing digital customer interaction. It's, it's, it's incredible. Where do you see this going? Like how, what's the future like in digital customer interaction? So, so just, uh, you know, imagine the realm of possibilities where AI uh, can greatly enhance the, uh, the, the digital brand value proposition, or rather I should say the 100% digital brand value proposition. And that's what uh, Loom uh, uh, talks about being 100% digital brand and and we are probably in the first of i would say nine innings and have just scratched the surface uh, generative ai uh, jamie as you know is a promising technology which was pioneered by open ai microsoft and alphabet google uh, but it has seen uh, lower than expected adoption i think largely due to the risk of um, inaccuracy and that is inherent in these large language models which are otherwise referred to as hallucinations. But this right. is disruptive technology. Right? Given, given our history, Aleppo's history, longstanding history in uh, the telecommunications service provider industry, we bring unique domain knowledge and we bring the expertise because of our domain knowledge, we are, we are able to fine tune these AI models as well as do prompt engineering uh, to, to reduce these hallucinations, improve ac accuracy, and reduce the error rates to probably uh, better than what human agents can accomplish. So that is Aleppo's secret sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, I strongly believe that as more domain specialists like Aleppo are able to solve this problem of um, hallucination, of inaccuracy, and identify interesting and new use cases like the virtual agent, uh, I, I haven't even talked about um, the agent assist. That's the other side of uh, virtual agent uh, of the virtual agent, but that's a topic for another discussion. Uh, I believe the adoption of generative AI um, in, in customer service is uh, expected to accelerate, uh, disrupting uh, traditional customer service technologies and processes. So the, the days of uh, rigid chatbots and frustrating IVRs are closer probably closer to the end of their technology life cycle. So I'm uh, personally very excited um, for the future of AI and for, for what we are doing in Aleppo in, in uh, making a sustainable impact. Yeah, uh, uh, so are we, so are we. And I know many of our viewers out there are also equally excited and highly interested. Viewers, if you wish, please do learn more at Aleppo.com. You can actually scan the QR code over my shoulder here. <laughs> Got it right? Um, and, uh, and make sure you go to Aleppo.com to learn more. Thank you for joining us, Sunil Diaz, CEO of Aleppo. We so appreciate your time and insight. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. This has been great. And to our viewers, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And as always, happy networking.